sessions. The seventy sessions. Everybody, my name is Robbie Pomodoro, and thanks for checking out the Celery Sessions Emotional Assertive Cuisine. And without further ado, let me introduce my co host and sidekick, the infamous Nina DeBorg. Nina, what up? Hello, Robbie Pomodoro. What you doing? Hunting for snakes. Ooh, snake, scary. Looks like you're in a good spot. Why don't you tell everybody what we're making today? Snake bite squared. Ah, an overthought conceptual dish when really you just want to get some food in your belly. Okay, here we go. Oh, there's a big old black snake. So we got to get this bad boy. I prefer the pounce method from all my military training, but it's really up to you what you want to do in regard to killing your own snake. But the main point is, is we need the skin. That is the main point. The skin is key. What do you do with the snake meat? Great question, Nina B. I'll tell you what you do. You wrap it up, you freeze it, you label it, and then, when you clean out your freezer, you throw that shit in the garbage. Honestly, I wouldn't feed snake to a hobo. Robbie, does snake meat taste like chicken? Does snake meat taste like chicken? <laughs> no, it does not. But today we will be using chicken to give people the illusion that they're eating snake. They'll never know the difference. I already know what some people are going to say. Hey man, you just don't know how to cook snake. Let me guess, you marinate it in Italian dressing. Ooh, you have your own secret dry rub. The only secret is, is you're trying to cover up the flavor of the snake instead of bring out the flavor. And why would you bring out the flavor of something that tastes like the bottom of a frog pond? Hey, if you want a tasty bird, this is what you need to do got to feed the birds. you got to feed them the correct diet. And we're going to show you what we feed the birds. And Nina is going to help today. So, here's what we do. we got some cherries, some mealworms, and some dry-aged deer corn for maximum flavor. Nina, are you ready? I am ready. Let's do this. Fuck. Calm down. Just stand still. I am standing still. Okay, just... It's okay. Oh, shit. It's all right. Fuck off. I'm sorry. What is that small it's bear? It's just a rooster. He's not going to hurt you. I don't like okay, him. Okay, I'm sorry. This is a really bad idea. Really bad idea. Robbie, why would you do that? Are you mad at me? Nina, I would never be mad at you. It was just a bad idea. I thought it would be fun. Well My then, bad. the rooster needs to be terminated. No, it doesn't. It protects a flock. Leave it alone. Got it? No, Robbie. Today he will meet his maker. Let's see if rooster tastes like snake. <sighs> oh boy. Target identified. Target locked. Destroy. All right, guess we're eating rooster since Nina blew it out of the ground. So one good thing is uh, took off most of the feathers. So some easy plucking. As you can see here, she blew the head off. That's okay. This is what we have to work with, people. So we're going to move really fast on to the next step. All right, our chicken is broken down. Now we're going to roast them bones with some vegetables and aromatics. All right, roast it and toast it. Now we'll move on to simmering that stock. We'll strain it out, cool it down, and remove the fat. Hot pan, hot oil, a little kosher salt. Got to get that skin crispy. Now we got some cherries, some cheap beer, and some hard cider. Get it? Snake bite to deglaze. Oh boy, look at that crispy skin. Mm, now let's deglaze it with some of our snake bite. Okay, got some cherries in there. Add a few more cherries. Ooh, some thyme and some Grandma Smith apples. And we're going to add a little bit more stock here. Let it reduce down. And on to the next step.
Robbie, why not just serve that chicken? It looks delicious the way it is. Valid point, Nina. But remember, we want to overthink and overhandle the food in this dish until we come to the realization that we should have just gone to art school. All right, rooster meat, crispy skin, wrap it up into a square, make it pretty, and then we're going to put it in a 425 oven for about 10 minutes. All right, everybody, we got some sauteed purslane and some dandy greens to represent the snake's stomping grounds. Now we have our snake bite square right on top, and then we are going to add our snake bite jus. Get it? Snake bite squared. Snake two ways, everybody. Hey, guess what time it is? Pointless edible flower time. Got a little bit of squash blossom here. Have no idea what that flower is or this purple one. But seems like that's what everybody's doing, so might as well do it. Smells like somebody peed on a hot rock. Now we're going to add a loose herd of dry-aged micro deer corn croutons. And last, we're going to add a broken vinaigrette of toasted pumpkin seed oil and H-E-O-T so people think we're edgy and important. And that, everybody, is emotional, assertive cuisine. So, Nina, what'd you think? I guess it was okay. That's all you have to say? What's wrong? Robbie, would it be possible to help you cook next time? Absolutely. Oh boy, that should be interesting. Hey, anything else you got to say before we leave the show? Hit the like and subscribe button, or you will burn in the depths of hell. Hail Satan. Whoa, 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 not true. Nina, you can't threaten people to subscribe. But if you like the show, give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And you can leave a comment for Nina or myself, and we will get back to you. And if you can hold on for one more second, I forgot to introduce the key players of the show today. Big thanks to these birds right here. On the left, we got Tony. On the right, we got Lady Chow. Thanks, girls. And I can't forget this guy here. My boy, Giovanni, the toughest little guy in town, a.k.a. Gigi. Love you, buddy. Once again, my name is Robbie Pomodoro. Thanks for checking out the Celery Sessions Emotional Assertive Cuisine.